In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. As we recall year by year the mysteries by which, through the restoration of its original dignity, human nature has received the hope of rising again, we earnestly beseech your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate in faith we may possess in unending love, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles The high priest intervened with all his supporters from the party of the Sadducees. Prompted by jealousy, they arrested the apostles and had them put in the common jail. But at night, the angel of the Lord opened the prison gates and said as he led them out, Go and stand in the temple and tell the people all about this new life. They did as they were told. They went into the temple at dawn and began to preach. When the high priest arrived, he and his supporters convened the Sanhedrin. This was the full senate of Israel, and sent to the jail for them to be brought. But when the officials arrived at the prison, they found they were not inside, so they went back and reported. We found the jail securely locked and the warders on duty at the gates, but when we unlocked the door, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple and the chief priests heard the news, they wondered what this could mean. Then a man arrived with fresh news. At this very moment, he said, the men you imprisoned are in the temple. They are standing there preaching to the people. The captain went with his men and fetched them. They were afraid to use force in case the people stoned them. The Word of the Lord This poor man called, and the Lord heard him. I will bless the Lord at all times, His praise always on my lips. And the Lord, my soul, shall make its boast. The humble shall hear and be glad. This poor man called, and the Lord heard him. Glorify the Lord with me. Together let us praise His name. I sought the Lord, and He answered me. From all my terrors, He set me free. This poor man called, and the Lord heard him. Look towards him and be radiant. Let your faces not be abashed. This poor man called, the Lord heard him, and rescued him from all his distress. This poor man called, and the Lord heard him. The angel of the Lord is encamped around those who revere him to rescue them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. He is happy who seeks refuge in him. This poor man called, and the Lord heard him. Alleluia, Alleluia! Christ has risen and shone upon us, whom he redeemed with his blood. Alleluia! The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, God loved the world so much that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not be lost, but may have eternal life. For God sent his Son into the world not to condemn the world, but so that through him the world might be saved. No one who believes in him will be condemned, but whoever refuses to believe is condemned already, because he has refused to believe in the name of God's only Son. On these grounds is sentence pronounced, that, though the light has come into the world, men have shown they prefer darkness to the light, because their deeds were evil. And indeed, everybody who does wrong hates the light and avoids it, for fear his actions should be exposed. But the man who lives by the truth 
comes out into the light, so that it may be plainly seen that what he does is done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Allow me to tell a little background of our Gospel reading today. Nicodemus, probably a member of the Jewish court, the Sanhedrin, went to see Jesus at night because he was afraid that he will be seen and thereafter persecuted by the unbelieving leaders of Israel. Yet, symbolically, Nicodemus is walking in spiritual darkness and lacks the enlightenment of true faith. Yet the fact that he went to see Jesus shows that he sees the light and wanted to be in the light. Have you ever been in a situation where you want to do something good, but then we did the opposite? Like for example, we say to ourselves not to judge others because we know that it is a good practice. But as soon as we see something out of the norm in a person, we immediately pass judgment and make an assumption a bit too quickly. I know I am guilty of this, and this is one of the many things I need to work on. Another example, we keep on saying that we are God's beloved, but then when life tests us with sickness, pain, loss, and leaves us brokenhearted and weighed down, we forgot a moment about how much we are loved how much we have always been loved. For me, this is the message that Jesus wants us to know through his warning to Nicodemus. Even though we might be in the light of Jesus, there will always be a possibility for us to fall short and to fall into darkness, into our own shadows of the past. Yet, God sent his only son to redeem the world and not to condemn so that we may be saved through him. We are reminded that nothing will prevent light from dispelling the darkness. Both our readings from the Acts of the Apostles and the Gospel of John remind us that we will be never be unheard, our brokenness will be healed, and we will rise from dark places. We will not be confined to any prisons keeping us from doing God's work and living in the light where others might come to know of the love of God. Light reveals us to ourselves and others. Even when we find ourselves back in the shadow of the past or in our self-imposed prisons, afraid of the light or afraid of what it means to live in, the, in that light like Nicodemus was when he went to see Jesus in the night, God will always be there. God will be right there to free us, protect us, and heal and love us. Let us take some time in moment today to put aside the things that preoccupy and confine our heart and mind so that we may reflect on such a love, God's unyielding, ever-present, and steadfast love. Having been nourished by the word of God, let us now then offer up our needs and prayers. We keep in the silence of our hearts as we say the prayer that Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Lord bless us all, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, sisters and brothers, for joining us in our today's Liturgy of the Word. Have a beautiful day and a joyful week ahead. God bless, take care, and stay safe.